What's up, guys? My name is Justin. Welcome back to the channel today. We are back on NASCAR Dirt to Daytona. Getting down to the nitty gritty for our first dirt season in the NASCAR Week Racing Series presented by Dodge. If you didn't see the last episode, make sure you go back and check that out before you watch this one. Kind of set the context for where we are. It was not a great episode. We did not get a top 10 in either race, uh, which was pretty disappointing. We didn't quite get the gains for the, for the money that we were looking for. But that aside, we're going to hop right into it here. First up, we're at Hastings Sports Sports Park. Pretty small payday, so we really do need that top 10 finish to help boost our money. Um, this is, I believe, the seventh race of the season, so we're going to have seven and eight today, and next episode that will be nine and ten, and that'll be the end of our first season. Hopefully we can get a nice upgrade and be able to compete in the top ten much more regularly next season. That's going to be definitely the key, so make sure we go in here, take all the spoiler out of it, and again, not that it's a huge difference, but we need everything we can get, because we do not have the speed as of yet, uh, desperately need an upgrade. I've thought about whether I want to go with the exhaust or with the, uh, the arrow upgrade. Either one, I think, is going to be a big difference. Certainly put us in top 10 oh, 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 oh. Um, I'm thinking now that we're going to go with the, uh, um, the arrow upgrade. Um, and then that way we'll get to the exhaust hopefully a little bit easier. That's my thought process. Whether or not that works out in the end of the after this episode, we'll see. But, uh, that's kind of what I'm thinking. We'll see how it goes. Garbage corner entry there. I don't think I need to look here as much as I did. That's a mistake on the Q lap by me, but we'll see where we stack up. Alright, let's see where we play. <laughs> not even Go on with it. P10! Okay, we're just barely P10, but we're P10. Right around the, where Sam Pearson's at, so that gives me some hope. Hopefully we can be P5 in this heat. And uh, then have a shot at top 10 in the race, because this is, again, a pretty tough track to make past that, but also very easy to make some mistakes. Definitely the top going 10. Green. There's green flag. I'm trying to get to the inside of Algar instead. I am going to to start immediately. Looks like Jeff Fulton here is really slow. see like to make it nice and easy like that so. all right a main time it is already we're two minutes into the video <laughs> we'll take it straight in really need a top 10 here today oh, we got 20 laps Last one. 
just got past one. We got plenty of time. We got not getting past also as well.
Money, money, money. Show me. $1,300. Okay, that is what we like to see. Alright, that is what we like to see. Absolutely. Still 11 the points. Only 18 back of Fulton, though. Pearson won that race. Good for him. First top five of the year. Of course, we don't have any news. Jeff Fulton. So. 7,500. Let's go look at the garage, shall we? What do we want to go with? Question mark of the day. Aero upgrade is going to be 7,300. We can't afford it. Would we rather have that or would we rather have the exhaust? 6,300. I'm thinking of the tracks we have left. We do have to go back to the, the fairgrounds place for race 10. Um, and just in case, I'm going to use, I'm going to go with this. We're going to go with the exhaust. We're going to do it on right now just to try to hopefully increase our performance. That is the best exhaust, so that's all of our money used up. I just want to make sure that I didn't make a mistake there. Trading value, forget about it. Now we should have, I say, much more speed, but we should definitely be more in the ballpark um, of being consistently in top 10, top 9. Not have to fight for it so hard, hopefully. And we only need about 6,200 more. Uh, granted, it's only in three races, but we only need 6,200 more. Um, to be able to get back into where we are able to uh, afford the aero part as well. Kingsfield Raceway is up next, five grand. Um, yeah, I guess we'll we'll see. Um, we weren't that great at this track the first time. Don't really know fully what to expect as far as performance, but hopefully with the exhaust we can at least be in the ballpark again. So this will be good. This will be kind of our first test. Spoilers already at 45. Perfect. Wanted to make sure it was saved. I assumed it would be. But never know. This track isn't going to be the biggest show of the exhaust, neither is the track coming up after this, uh, Anoka City Speedway or whatever it's called. Go, 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 go! At the very least, we should get a ballpark of where we are, 16 to 7, was our best lap here from the previous visit. See if we can really beat that here today. We should have plenty more speed at the very least. We're not quite the same handling still, but hopefully we beat that aero package in season 7 or in season 2, but now we will need for that. So. Get it wound up here around the top as much as possible. 16-7 is our final race. So on the count. 6 which is great. On the bottom. Of course, that was a warm-up lap as well. It's great out of the So 16-7, hopefully we can run like 16-5, 16-6 for me, I guess. Alright, 16-7. Okay, so a couple tenths pickup, roughly two tenths. We'll take that. Every little bit counts. Again, this is more of a handling track, so that does actually give me some good confidence. And we are handily better than 11th. We are solid four tenths better than we're 11th. That's so the pickup was well worth it. Much needed as well. I think we're P9, so we're going to be fifth starting here for this uh, first heat race, which is fine. Five laps still as well. Set. The race is going green. All right. There's the green flag. flag. Straight to the A main again. The gains are positive. That's what we're all about. Positive gains here. Top tens. All right, straight to the A main again. Again, tenth is the goal. Nothing higher than that is really going to be a thing. So 
That's okay. All right. Green set. The race is going green. There's the green flag. I am there, sir. I am there. I could not be inside that was right there. I'm sorry, I Still good. They're still looking over at Fitch.
competitive is good. It takes a little bit. Competitive is good. in the slightest will take it all the day all the way 46 points k2 actually led a lap in that race somehow but then went two laps down that's pretty nuts grimstead waxed this field pretty well and away we go all right what's the money give me like 1200 Ooh, 1400 we like that every little bit of bonus helps there thanks to senor taco dunbars and schneider skies Oh yeah, we like that. 1400. Uh, just about 1500 of, of mixed uh, mixed money there. Oh, we moved up to uh, spot points. So now we're 23 ahead. Jeff Fulton was not made the feature there or something. Rafter had another good run, so we're not so solidified in 10th by any means. But a bunch of guys named Jay something in a row here. Uh, you know, 11, 12, 13, and obviously myself and then Joe Fazili is shitting on everybody for the title so far. Everybody's hanging around there, though. So 7,300, we need about, uh, what, 4,700 in these last two races, which I find very, very unlikely to happen. But you never know. So uh, Baxter is going to be the final race, and Anoka will be the race um, besides that. So that's going to be all for today. Make sure I save the game as usual. Very important. <laughs> we'll take it. So that's going to be all for today. Make sure you drop a like and sub down below. My name is Andy Action from Dirt to Daytona. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2. Um, I racing or anything else I made most. So I appreciate everybody for stopping by, um, viewing the video. I hope it's been enjoyable. It's been certainly enjoyable for me to get back and play in this game and uh, build this career mode up. So that's going to be all. Till next time. Bye bye.